During Friday's daily briefing, Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacenti confirmed 14 new positive cases of coronavirus. The county's total is now at 263. Of those cases, 186 are still active, 33 patients are hospitalized, 6 patients have passed away, and 71 cases are resolved. The Oneida County Health Department said that one patient that tested positive visited three locations in New Hartford on April 11th. Anyone who's been to Beer Here, Bremer's Wine and Liquor, or Peter's Cornucopica Inc. on that date are advised to monitor themselves for COVID-19 symptoms until April 25th. Health Commissioner Phyllis Ellis says that the patient wore a mask while visiting these locations and that the risk of exposure is low to moderate. If you do begin to show signs consistent with coronavirus, immediately contact your physician and the health department. On Friday, the Herkimer County Government Facebook page announced 59 positive cases of coronavirus. So that's two more cases that were discovered in the last 24 hours. Three patients are hospitalized, three have passed away, and 28 cases are resolved. In Friday's update from the Otsego County Department of Health, they confirmed three new cases of coronavirus. The county's total now reaching 50. Of those positive cases, four patients are hospitalized, four have passed away, and 25 patients have recovered and are no longer in isolation. In Governor Cuomo's daily briefing, he confirmed 8,505 new positive cases in the state just within the past day. So the new total number of positive cases stands at 222,284. Cuomo says that we are still in phase one of the crisis response, but we have decreased the infection rate from 1.4 to 0.9. And that means that the average person who contracts coronavirus is now only infecting less than one person. In order to reach phase two or the unpausing of the state, we must continue to decrease the infection rate increase large-scale testing and stabilize finances. Cuomo has issued an executive order that directs all public and private labs in New York State to coordinate with the Department of Health to ensure prioritizing of diagnostic testing for public health and restarting the economy. The governor continues to call on the federal government for support to help stabilize the economy and perform reopening functions. Cuomo says that when we do finally unpause the state, we should learn from this pandemic and improve our health care system and continue to social distance. More COVID-19 updates will be on our stations WUTR and WFXV, and the next daily briefing will be on Monday, April 20th.